Feeling disconnected from your community? Turn to BrainerdDispatch.com. Local news keeps you in the know on what's happening in your area. From breaking news to high school sports reports, get the important news of the day and updates on local events only at BrainerdDispatch.com. Good afternoon, Brainerd Lakes area. It's Monday, February 12th. I'm Teresa Burke with your Brainerd Dispatch Minute, the weekday podcast of the Brainerd Dispatch, named best daily newspaper in the state of Minnesota, catching you up on the news of the Brainerd Lakes area. Here are today's top local headlines. Looking to put a meaning to Jacob Borgstrom's life, his family came together in December to give a voice to the voiceless. Borgstrom was involved in a crash in 2022 that left another person paralyzed. He was charged with criminal vehicular operation. Borgstrom pleaded guilty to the charge but was never sentenced. Before his next court date, he was attacked online for his role in the crash and took his own life. Family and friends then came together and formed a nonprofit called Jacob's Voice. They're looking to change how people are protected online by social media companies. Borgstrom's family said he wanted to reach out to those affected by the crash, but was advised not to do so by his lawyer. Hours before his death, family members say they sent multiple requests to Facebook to remove the bullying comments before Borgstrom saw them. You can read more on Jacob's voice in reporter Tim Speyer's story in Saturday's Dispatch or online. Fundraising will soon be underway to raise money to repaint the iconic Pequot Lakes Bobber Water Tower. The Pequot Lakes City Council agreed at its meeting last week to designate $10,000 of franchise fees to the project. The chamber offered to match those funds. The cost to paint is about $71,000. The Chamber of Commerce offered to spearhead the fundraising efforts. The tower also needs about $15,000 worth of maintenance to remove a pipe. The Crow Wing County Sheriff's Office will temporarily have a deputy stationed at Pequot Lakes schools. Incidents in December and January prompted concerns about no longer having a school resource officer. The police department canceled its contract with the district at the beginning of the school year because of state legislation changes. The city's legal counsel is still advising the city not to have a school resource officer. Echo Journal editor Nancy Vogt has more on the issue in today's e-edition and online. How far should property rights extend, and what effect could government intervention have on the quality of rental properties? Those are two of the questions still in play on the topic of short-term rental regulations in Brainerd. City Council members approved the first reading of an ordinance relating to the topic last week. But the guidelines have not yet gone into effect and concerns still linger. I've got the full story in Saturday's paper and at BrainerdDispatch.com. 25 potential parcels of public land were whittled down to two as the top choices to create a dog park in Baxter. The number one choice is city-owned land near the intersection of Clearwater and Inglewood Drive. The second option is the city's North Water Tower property at the intersection of Voida Road and Inglewood Drive. Those options will be among the discussion topics for a public open house on Oscar Christofferson Park set for February 29th at City Hall. Read more on the topic in Managing Editor Renee Richardson's story in Saturday's paper. An outbreak of emerald ash borer recently found in Crow Wing County was located in southeast Brainerd. And since it's been found in one location, it's likely to spread to other areas of the county. Find out what that means in editor Matt Erickson's story in Saturday's paper or online. From former Dispatch publisher Terry McCullough's column, This Was Brainerd, exploring the Dispatch archives, here's today's tidbit of local history. Forty years ago today, in 1984, the dispatch reported that continuing a tradition at the Brainerd Moose Lodge, Millie Michaelis will become the 10th recipient of the annual Moose Celebrity Roast on March 10th. Reservations are required for the lobster and steak dinner, and attendance will be limited to 250 persons. Jim Falconer will be the roast master. For a daily dose of This Was Brainerd, 
visit BrainerdDispatch.com or find McCullough's column in the newspaper or e-edition. Now here's today's Lakes Area Forecast, brought to you by Tanner Motors of Brainerd. Storm Tracker. Weather for the Brainerd area today, looking at mostly cloudy skies and high temperatures in the low 30s to start off the week. Holding on to the cloud cover overnight and will drop down into the lower 20s. And again for Tuesday, mostly cloudy and temperatures again in the lower 30s. Chance of snow as we go into Tuesday night. I'm Storm Tracker meteorologist Robert Pointer. Thanks to Tanner Motors for their support. And thank you for listening to the Brainerd Dispatch Minute. For more news throughout the day, And for information on becoming a subscriber, visit BrainerdDispatch.com. Have a great day and we'll catch you tomorrow.